so, um, hi everyone, we are going to be doing a absolute value equation that involves, um, this is basically of the form a times the quantity x times the absolute value of x minus h plus k is equal to some constant c. So, um, where this is, this is, um, where this is the axis of symmetry, h is the axis of symmetry, and k is your, is your y value of vertex, and the vertex would be hk, but I mean we don't have to know all of this yet until we start graphing, but this is basically the um, kind of the, um, the um, this is basically the, the form of, um, it's called vertex form. This is the way that the equation, that this equation is um, being put in place. So, the way that we solve this equation is we first go ahead and subtract by one on each side. And that'll give us two times the quantity x minus 3 equals 8. So that's the first step. The first step is subtract 1 on each side. And then number 2, you have to um, divide by 2 on each side because we have to get rid of that too we have to get again we have to get this part this entire part right here um we have to get this entire part right here to be by itself you know in one side so what we do is we go ahead and divide by two um and then that way, this cancels out. So then we are left with the quantity x, the absolute value of x minus 3 is equal to 4. And then lastly, what you do is you set absolute value equation into two separate equations. So we have to do this will give us two separate equations. So first we're going to say x minus 3 equals 4. And one thing to note is that the ins this part right here, the inside, never changes. We have to keep it the same. The only thing that changes is the constant. This changes. So what I mean by that is you um, you say this first, this entire thing, um, x minus 3 equals 4, and then you say or x minus 3 equals negative 4. So, lastly, the last step would be to solve both equations. And then, of course, this, this fifth step isn't necessary, but it helps. Um, you would go ahead and check or actually, I think it would be necessary. 
because you don't want any extraneous solutions. Um, and by extraneous, By extraneous, what I mean is like like I would call it a false solution, so or an or um a solution that is not that is not um, basically a, a solution that does not follow the equation. So um, so basically, you once you do this, you separate them into two different equations, and then you go ahead and you solve the first one by adding. 3 on each side, and you're left with x equals 7, and then the next one you have, you do the same thing, you add by 3 on each side, and then you're left with x equals negative 1. So, um, now you want to go ahead and check, so to check x First, we're going to check, so check solutions, and number one, we're going to do x equals 7, so we're going to go ahead and um, plug it in to 2 times x minus 3, times the absolute value of x minus 3, plus 1 equals 9. This is going to go in here, so we have... 2 times the absolute value of 7 minus 3 plus 1. And what I'd like to do, not there, but over here, we, we like to put a little question mark right here to, because we don't know if it's equal to 9 yet. And basically, the rule is left-hand side, left. must equal to the right hand side so we go ahead and we um, we do the inside, so 2 times the absolute value, and we we do the inside, just like in Pem, PEMDAS. Um, we work with the, with, the, with the parenthesis. In this case, we have absolute value symbols on each side, so then we go ahead and do 2 times the absolute value of 4, plus 1, and then we say, is that equal to 9? So then we go ahead and... Um, and we simplify it even further. The absolute value of 4 is 4. So we say 2 times 4 plus 1 is that equal to 9. And then we go ahead and um, solve even further by multiplying 2 and 4 and adding 1 is that equal to 9. And then we, we add 8 plus 1, so then we get 9 and we see that it does equal 9. Um, for the second one, we have, I think, the other solution, we have x equals negative 1. So we would, again, write our equation, and we would do 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3 plus 1, is that equal 9? Um, or equals 9, actually, because we, we haven't plugged it in yet. So then we say 2... Give me a 
a second. I forgot to put the check x equals negative 1. So um, we go ahead and plug it in. So we say 2 times the absolute value of negative 1 minus 3 plus 1 is that equal to 9. And we again do the same exact process. We um, we first work on the inside of the parentheses, which is the absolute value symbols. Negative 1 minus 3 is the same as negative 1 plus negative 3. So we have 2 times the absolute value of negative 4 plus 1, and we go ahead and put as that equal to 9. And um, we say 2, and we go ahead and say that the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. And then we say plus 1, and we put z equal to 9. And we see that we have the exact same thing on the other equation. Um, 9 does equal 9. So your solutions are 2, or x equals 7, and x equals negative 1. I hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.